first sip. Athletic brew. Been jamming to those for a while now. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So as promised, here is the bike check for my Poseidon Redwood flat bar. Now I have received the question as to why I went for the flat bar version instead of the drop bar version and simply put, it's just what I prefer for a commuter build. I did opt to go with a size large as I'd mentioned in prior videos. The geometry of the large was the closest to that on my 54 centimeter Kona Rove. Now this bike was sent to me from Poseidon and I've had the chance to change small parts and bits on it to make it my own and for my intended purposes, which again for me is as a commuter. For a bike check, I usually start on the front of the bike and work my way back. I will note that if you are a fan of the channel, you'll notice that some of these bike parts and bits are off of my Larry versus Harry Bullet, which is my cargo bike. Now I have found other parts to put on that bike, but there were simply some bits like the Brooks Swift, which I think will be better used on this build, the Poseidon Redwood. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and with the exception of one single item, which I think is missing, which I'll tell you guys at the end, I think that the build is pretty much complete to my liking. Now, can it be upgraded? Well, almost always as we know with bikes, but so can any other bike. For my purposes, I think that this bike really checks all the boxes. So let's start with the cockpit. I have a 70 millimeter zero degree Thompson X4 for the stem. It is holding a pair of salsa bends and on the bars I have a spur cycle bell. Something I think is ideal for any commuter build. It doesn't have to be a spur cycle bell, but a bell is definitely a must. On the end of the bars I'm running some old stock grips that came with my Karate Monkey and 45 North bar ends that hold my pogies on colder months. On the Redwoods aluminum fork, I have a Nito M18 and a Wald 137 zip tied to it. I mount a specialized Flash 300 to the underside of the rack and basket combo. This lets the lights shine brightly even when carrying a load up front. On the back of the basket, I do have a chrome tote bag that is mounted with two Wale straps. This is for emergency grocery runs when I want to keep items in one place without using a disposable bag. For the brakes, the Poseidon is running the stock Tektro mechanical short pull levers that actuate the brakes to the 160 millimeter rotors in the front and rear. These definitely aren't comparable to hydraulic brakes, but for commuting, I prefer the simplicity of the mechanical disc brakes. You can choose to upgrade the brakes to hydraulic when ordering the Poseidon, which is, I think, a good feature that they offer. Up front, I'm also running a Hammerhead Carew 2 securely mounted to a K-Edge stem mount. Now I'll talk more about the hammerhead and how I use it on my commutes in just a moment. Working our way to the drivetrain, the Redwood comes stock with the MicroShift Advent X for shifting, running a 38 tooth chainring up front with pro wheel cranks. In the rear, the cassette offers a 10 speed 11 to 48, which is more than enough range for the hills around Colorado Springs. Advent X is something I have been looking forward to trying on this bike as it's extremely affordable shifting. And so far I've found that it delivers precise shifting with just a touch of lag when compared to the SRAM or Shimano shifting I have on other bikes. This won't be noticeable to those looking to buy their first gravel bike or those being okay with slightly slower shifting in exchange for huge savings. It's also nice to know that for a commuter that will be ridden in the elements, when it's time to replace that rear derailleur, it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. For my saddle, as I mentioned above, I'm running a Brooks Swift. And lately I've been loving this saddle as it's finally starting to really break in. If you know anything about leather saddles, when they do this, they are so comfortable. Now, some might say that a leather saddle might not be the best for a commute, as, like I just said, you are exposed to the elements. But I do try and carry the nylon rain cover in my bag at all times. For a seat post, I'm running a Thompson Elite with no setback. And right below it is my favorite piece of tech this year. That's right, the best piece of technology you can buy for a bike, in my opinion, 
has to be the Garmin RCT715, or for that matter, the RLT515. You can get all sorts of variants of this, but basically any well-made radar is a game changer for riding. You might be cruising on a quiet neighborhood street on your way into work, and a car that is clearly late zooms past you. Well, this used to startle me on so many commutes, but now I know it's coming from a football field away. That is why I have the hammerhead up front. It's mainly to let me know when I have traffic coming up from behind. The radar can also be paired to a phone or a compatible watch, so if you don't have a dedicated bike computer, there are alternatives to make this device work. For the wheels, I have the stock 27.5 wheels and mounted on them, I have the 27.5 by 2.2 Ultra Dynamico Cavas, set up tubeless of course. Now I have been looking at these tires for quite a while now, and I did get a glowing recommendation here on YouTube from Pudgy Pedal Pusher to try these out. So thank you Pudgy. I can say they are an amazing choice for my commutes and I really want to test them out on a road like Rampart Range Road here in Colorado Springs. High volume, fast rolling, that is what's up. Finally, I have an Ass Savers Win Wing covering my rear. I know this doesn't offer full protection, but I was looking for a minimal fender that would save my butt from muck on wet commutes into work. While this bike is 99.9% .9 complete for my needs, I will add one more thing, a rear view mirror. I've loved having the Virtude Cycles one on my Kona Rove, but need something that will work a little better for this build. So I'm still on the hunt. So what do you think about the commuter build? Did I miss something? Is there something you run on your commuter that is fundamental to the build? Let me know in the comments below, drop some knowledge for everybody and let the people know. Huge thank you to Luis at Poseidon Bikes for sending this bike out and taking the chance on me and of course the channel. I can not say that for the money they are asking for this bike, the bike and build are an incredible value. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it or found it entertaining or useful and thank you for subscribing.